Salome Bay, Canada's first lady of the blues, has died. She was 86 years old. I'm gonna get back at any price. Stand aside, I'm out. The singer-songwriter was a key member of Toronto's jazz scene during the 60s, but her powerful voice took her far beyond that city. Bay also performed on Broadway and in Europe. Her publicist says she died in Toronto on Saturday, and she had been suffering from dementia. Let's bring in Yelena Adzik. She joins me from Toronto. So, Yelena, this is a big loss for music lovers right across the country. Give us a sense of Bay's life and career. Yeah, absolutely, Hannah. We're talking about a multidisciplinary artist in the true sense of the word. She really had incredible strides made both in music, but also on the stage. I'm going to give you a look at some of the, the images that we have of her as I tell you a little bit more about her career, because this is a woman who was born in the States, but she made her first appearance in Toronto in 1961. And she settled there in about the 64, and she was playing the jazz club circuit. She ended up earning that title, that moniker you said, Canada's first lady of the blues for her incredible performances. But at one point, she also toured throughout Europe and the United States with her brother and her sister. They were known as the vocal group Andy and the Bay Sisters. Now, something that's really important is that here at home in Canada, there were so many accolades for work that she did on the stage. She got a Grammy nomination for her work with the cast album on Broadway. It was called Your Arms Too Short to Box With God. She also garnered two Dora Awards. And uh, this is a woman who ended up helping in various ways, launching the careers or at least really helping them out for many black Canadian artists such as Deborah Cox, for example, Divine Brown, really a beautiful, booming voice that many are remembering today. Have a listen. I gave birth to a nation of a whole, trembling in fear of the lynching. Mm, you can just get goosebumps from that, Hannah. And just as a side note, but an important note, her husband, many people might be familiar with Howard Berkeley Matthews. Now, he passed away a while ago, but he was known for creating a restaurant in uh, Toronto's East End, and it was called the Underground Railroad. And this was really, uh, became famous for helping to support, to promote all kinds of uh, artists and musicians within the black community. So just really a huge voice for equality in, around, the, around the world, really. Yeah, and we know Bay's family was important to her. She talked about them a lot. Can you share some of those stories? Yeah, so she survived by uh, her children. Uh, she had daughters as well as a son. And they went on to uh, become you know, musicians in their own right. I'm gonna give you a listen right now to Bay in her own words talking about one of her daughters. And uh, her name is Yacintha Tuku. Now, she talked about the fact that one day Tuku was telling her about her sadness and her dismay over the state of relations when it came to uh, the black community in uh, Canada, but also around the world. And I'm going to give you a listen now to how she processed her own songwriting and helped her daughters do the same. I started writing music to some of the things she would say because I'd ask her to write it down. Write down what you're feeling, you know. And she'd write about the people that she liked, but they didn't like her because her hair was woolly and her nose was flat and her skin was black. And I just wrote it. I just put music to it and it turned into little songs, but really coming from her. And before you know it, we had 13 songs, you know, all about abuse, you know, in many ways to whether it was Indian, Jewish, it didn't matter, everybody. Mm -hmm. So they get a little bit of a sense of her, her outpouring into the music, the thoughtfulness that was there. Uh, as I mentioned, she's survived by her two daughters as well as her son, Marcus Matthews. And Hannah, this is something that we're going to be uh, following throughout the day in terms of reaction. Uh, lots of musicians around Canada sharing their thoughts, so I uh, will share them with you as well. Thanks, Yelena. Always appreciate it. CBC's Yelena Adzik in Toronto.